this car is sitting in between two jersey barriers, we're going to basically lift it up to about a 45 degree angle, maybe a little higher, maybe a little low, depending on, on how much room we have to operate. Some important things to, to remember when we're picking an anchor system, just make sure your anchor system can support the weight that you're pulling off of. The grip hoist we're using today is a TD28. It's a two ton, so it has the capability of lifting four tons. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this car in half. The base is gonna go here, right? Flat up against here, because as we start to pressurize it, it's gonna dig in, right? The D handle is gonna be facing this way. The straps are gonna come off at 45 degree angles using the cluster hooks to grab, and all it's gonna do is for pressure, basically keeping that from sliding left or right. What we're gonna do is take the chains and we're gonna wrap the axle around here and then it's going to go through the head of this and wrap around here. What we want to make sure is that we're, we're kind of at a 30 degree angle because as we pull we're going to go to that 45 degree angle. Um, we're going to basically about a two foot section. We're going to drop out on this side and we're going to make a hook and I'm going to attach it. Ready when you are. And that vertical horizontal system is what's going to drive the Paratech into the base with that triangular vertical triangular system giving you your actual lift. That's going to allow us to basically open up enough space in here to gain access to, to begin to affect the extrication if we can't contend with these barriers at all. So let's get this thread over here, that stretch over there. Once we get into place, I'm going to have them lower it back down. So if you don't have Paratex, if you have Rescue 42s, this can't be done with 42s. It's got to be Paratex. The 42s aren't rated for that personal force.